I love going on hikes because mm. it's just so beautiful, especially after the rain. It's nice and green. You see the blue. It's just gorgeous. We and live in you such can a gorgeous still place. see poppies because I see them in my neighborhood. Same. A lot of people just have yeah. planted um, the seeds and they pop up. So they're still all over the place, maybe yeah. just not as much in that centralized location. I but agree. at least we have really great weather to celebrate. I was about to say, we're, we, we would have been sneezing if we were in that uh, hillside, <laughs> right, Amber? Yeah, if you're allergic to uh, some of the stuff there. But right now, what we have, if you're kind of feeling the allergies because we're starting to warm up, we're starting to see those offshore conditions. We have oak, we have juniper, we have mulberry. And so we're looking at medium to high today. Tomorrow we start to see it go down just a touch, but you could see kind of just fluctuates. So it's still going to be around. So just be aware of that. Here's a look at what's happening. We have these lighter offshore winds as high pressure continues to dominate our weather story the next couple of days. So we're looking at these winds coming in from the desert, blowing toward the ocean. So sometimes whenever we start to see more of these offshore conditions, we start start to feel the allergies a little bit more if you're really sensitive. So just be aware of that. So we have the breezes going on in the Malibu area, lighter winds for Camarillo, lighter winds also for the Palmdale area and pretty calm at the moment for Lancaster. All right, look at this beautiful shot as the sun is slowly coming up. Uh, we're still waiting for it. This is really far east though. So we're waiting for the sunrise at 621 this morning and we are looking at temperatures. Speaking of Lancaster, pretty chilly, just sitting right above freezing this morning at 33 degrees. So if you're lives, so if you live in the Antelope Valley, you know that uh, it's one of those type of afternoons where we have the warmer afternoons and then the colder nights. And that's because we just don't have a lot of the cloud cover overhead. So this is going to be the drill as we head into the rest of the week because that warming trend will continue. Lighter offshore winds boosting those temperatures up today about three to eight degrees above average. Yesterday we were still trending slightly below average because we we're in that transition day as that one system left and another one moving in. So that's why today will be even nicer. Then as we head toward the end of the week, Thursday and Friday, we begin a little bit of a cool down because we are tracking another system that's going to pass just to the north of us. And it's also going to bring us a little bit more of the cloud cover for the time being for Thursday and Friday before it finally starts to warm right back up again as we head into this upcoming weekend. So high pressure is with us now, but you can see there's a system to the north of us and then we have another high pressure system system that will continue to start to push back in and that's just in time for the weekend. So enjoy it. Our temperatures are going to pretty much stay in the 70s for the next few days. You can see it's 77 today and then kind of just going down just slightly as we head toward the end of the week and then popping back up into the upper 70s on Sunday. For the valleys, you're going to stay in the 80s through tomorrow and then going down just a touch again Thursday, Friday, a little cooler and then we start to see those temperatures swing back up into the 80s by the end of the weekend. Inland Empire, you're going to stay in the 80s till Thursday. Friday is the only day we actually start to see some 70s. And then by the time we head back into the weekend, we'll start to see some 80s again. But again, no complaints here. Back to you, Kalina.